after the 4x400 metres for women, which Australia won from England. And then all of a sudden, after a protest hearing, both England and Australia were disqualified, giving Jamaica the gold medal from Canada and Nigeria. And then, even more drama, England reinstated as the gold medalist. So, extraordinary scenes here, Kerry, on uh, what is turning into a very damp afternoon. And I suppose in some ways a dark afternoon for Australia, but let's not forget the performances of all of the athletes leading up to that moment. Well, that's right. They, they all put in a great performance and everyone here saw it. They, they won the race, but unfortunately the protest was upheld and that's what, that's what happens. I, I can't imagine how the girls are feeling, especially people like Kylie Hannigan, who, you know, ran so well in the final, and, and Renee Poetschka. And, you and, know, Lee been there for, and Lee Naylor would have been their first medal of the games and you know I can't imagine how they're feeling I, you know I, I feel very upset for them myself but hopefully the men won't get into this sort of trouble on this one well let's hope so and uh, you know you've got to feel for Lee in particular I suppose it was her only event you know the other girls ran in the 400s and Kathy in the 200 and Lee's just come here for the one event one minute there she is thinking she's the gold medalist and just a matter of minutes later, disappointment and shattering disappointment at that. That's right. And after such elation to be told that, you know, you're completely disqualified, your game's record's gone, it's, it would be shattering for the girls. OK, well, we've got one event to go and there are the competitors about to line up for the 4 by 400 metres for men. We've got England coming out of lane one, Jamaica in lane two, Nigeria lane three, Trinidad Tobago lane four, Kenya lane five, Wales lane six, Australia lane seven, and South Africa lane eight running for Australia. Mark Morisi, he'll be leading them off. Then we'll have Brett Callahan, Michael Joubert will run the third leg and Paul Green runs the last leg. The, the Trinidad Tobago team are the favourites here. All four good runners, so they've got great depth. I but I'll be looking Mark. at in particular for the Kenyan team and the Nigerian team. The Australian guys are going to have to run the race of their lives. They'll learn a lot from this race. Call to their blocks last event of the Commonwealth Games on the track, the 4x400 four metres for men. Started waiting. Set. And they were held a long time in the 4x4 four four for men. Paul Green running for Australia in the final leg. It's Mark Morisi leading them out. South Africa in front of Australia down the back straight. Wales is in third spot. And already Kenya and Trinidad and Tobago, the opening runners for them in Delice and Matilu running brilliantly. And they're clearly in front allowing for the staggers as they come off the back straight. Nigeria back in sixth spot. Then Jamaica and England in lane one. It's the South African runner who's physically in front coming around the turn. But by the time they get down the back straight when the runners cross in the next leg, it'll be Trinidad and Tobago and Kenya battling it out. Mark Morisi running very well for Australia is up alongside the Kenyans and the Trinidad Tobago runner who got very tired. Delise went out very hard for Trinidad Tobago and he got very tired in the last little bit. So the second lead coming up and coming through is Jamaica. They've made a spurt. Trinidad and Tobago and Kenya, well, both of those runners ran such a big back straight that they got extremely tired in the last 50 metres or so. And this has allowed Blake of Jamaica to go to the front down the back straight. Yes, you can see the danger when they actually go out too hard and then run home the last 50 metres and they're tiring. It's, it's not the thing that you shouldn't do. You've got to make sure you run it strong the whole way. So it's Jamaica in front of England, Trinidad, Tobago, Nigeria. The Australians back in last placing at the moment in this 4x4. Four four. But the competition out in front, Jamaica leading, Trinidad Tobago, the runner here in Neil De Silva, running a very strong last 100 metres. Now let's have a look for the changeover. Oh, De Silva's just run into the England runner, and he lost a couple of metres, and this has allowed Jamaica to get right away as they go into the third leg. The Kenyan runner was actually put off the track then. He had to jump back on. He's going to have to make up a lot of ground. You can see him making a move now, but, gee, when you have to make up that much ground at this stage of the race, I think he's going to be in trouble running down here. So the Kenyans forced back to second last at the moment, and now he's starting to spurt and that's Chet Quaddy but he's going to have a Herculean task surely they couldn't possibly overcome that as they come up towards the end of the third leg it's Jamaica in front Trinidad and Tobago in second position England third Nigeria fourth and the Australians in fifth placing through Michael Joubert are they a 
a chance of a medal. Joubert running strongly. He'll hand over to Paul Green, who ran a brilliant last leg yesterday. Well, have a changeover, not too bad. Paul oh, Green gets oh, drawn oh, the yeah. inside, but there's uh, tragedy at the back. The Welsh runner has fallen, and Ewan Thomas running the last leg for Wales is now back, and Kenya is also out of contention. Paul Green's running a great leg over there on the back straight. If he can hold this position, he might even get up and sneak a medal. He's actually going to go past them. Look at Paul Green down the back straight in fourth place in Jamaica League. Trinidad Tobago second, England third. Come on, Paul. The last event of the Games. Can he bring home a medal for Australia? He's struggling a little bit at the moment. It's going to be the Jamaicans. They're first into the straight, and they lead by five metres. Trinidad Tobago and England are close. Closing on him. The Jamaican runner's getting tired. Trinidad Tobago and England on the outside. The English runner is starting to fly home on the outside. The danger when he gets up. England takes the gold medal and a brilliant finish from Jamaica. Trinidad Tobago third. Paul Green has run bravely in fifth spot. What a finish in the 4x400. Four that is the way to finish the Commonwealth Games. Well, Dwayne Ledejo, what a great run. He didn't win the 400 metre final, but he certainly won this one for England. Paul Green ran a great last split there of 44.7. That's an excellent run from Paul, and he's feeling it now. 3.02, 14 is the time. It's a new Commonwealth Games record, and Jamaica clear coming off the back straight, but Dwayne Ledejo, who was the favourite for the 400 and couldn't bring home the gold medal, but what a performance to finish off this meet. But Peter, I'd hate to see what uh, disqualifications might come out of this one because oh, there was, was a lot rough. of interference in this one as well. And and really what, what happens is just the runners are so bunched and it always happens at this changeover, after the very first changeover of course, well, they're just not used to doing it all of the time. In, in Europe they don't run relays. So we may hear some more about this one as well, I don't know, but there were a couple of uh, incidents at the uh, third, the second change, we saw the Kenyans virtually knocked out of contention, and then at the third change, the Welsh runner crashed to the ground, and that was Gray as he was handing over to Ewan Thomas. And they were completely out of contention then, but Gray crashing to the ground, handing over to Thomas. But there are the winners, and there, the man from Trinidad Tobago, Ian Morris. Jamaicans still happy, they can still smile. But what a performance by that man, Dwayne Ladejo, in the 4x400 metres. That was an incredible effort. Certainly the sort of person you want running last on your relay team, isn't he? In a 4x4, they've got to, it, it's, you've got to be very careful with how you place your runners. If you've got a very strong team, you can, you can put your fastest runner last. Well, that is a tremendous way to finish what has been a marvellous track competition here at the Commonwealth Games. Despite the fact it's raining, the spirits have certainly not been dampened, especially for Dwayne Ladejo and the English team. More Commonwealth Games action on Network 10.